Hi everyone, welcome to the Freedom Overland channel. Freedom Overland is a company based in Dubai building some pretty amazing overlanding vehicles. My name is Isabel and today I'll be giving you a tour of our Freedom Rover 2.0. The Freedom Rover 2.0 is built on a Land Rover Defender from 1993. It's an Exomon military vehicle. On top of the rear pickup, the team has built a 100% aluminium camper with a telescoping roof. With a telescoping roof, it creates a comfortable space for not only a living area, it has a sleeping area and a fully equipped kitchenette. This vehicle is perfect for the minimalistic and adventurous couple who wants to travel long distances independently off-road. With its off-roading capabilities, it really has no limits. So same as the previous Freedom Rover, this vehicle also had an extensive restoration, which means that the body was completely removed from the chassis. It's completely repainted and rust-proofed. For this one, we have chosen the iconic Camel Trophy color theme. What do you think? The engine, which is a 2.5 liter petrol, has been overhauled. Additionally, mechanically there is a long list of parts too which have been replaced, like rubbers, bushings, power steering, the brakes. So looking at the front of the vehicle, you have the classic ground lights to enhance the visibility when going off-road. The vehicle is driving on BF Goodrich all-terrain 285 size tires. As well, it has the original 16 in range, which are colored black. A custom roof rack has been designed with a 100 watt solar panel system. The door has canvas cards in safari style to store your belongings. We have chosen again for a vintage team with maroon leather seats a vintage steering wheel, all the uh, instruments on the dashboard are original and our team has designed a dash unit to hold a Bluetooth navigation system and radio units. There is a switchboard for controlling several accessories and as you can see the gear switch is also made from leather. There's a dynamite flooring with a layer of carpet on top. Roof and walls are finished with our Alcantara. So on this side of the vehicle, you'll find your water tank compartment. The water tank has a capacity of 80 liters and the gray water tank has a capacity of 20 liters. You find the water inlet over here and the shower over here. Now in order to take these showers privately or to get changed privately, we have installed the quick pitch en suite. <laughs> At the back of the vehicle, you'll find a custom carrier to carry your spare tire and a holder to bring two jerry cans along. You can either fill it with fuel or water. Now opening the back. For me, in order to enter, I will first have to raise up the telescoping roof. Let me show you.
Now, how cool is that? Let me take you inside. So welcome to the camper section. As you can see, we've chosen a wooden countertop with white cabinets. We have Alcantara on the sides and a carpet flooring. You have plenty of space over here to prepare your food, store your utensils, store any other equipments that you want to bring along. Again, we have the cute little uh, authentic air fans and the switches over here for your water pump and your lights. Sink over here with more storage space, more storage space on top as well, and a Dometic fridge over here with 21 liters of capacity. The window over here has been designed with three different functions. What you see right now is the mosquito net. It also has a see-through one and a blackout. So moving to the front of the camper section, you'll find two passenger seats over here, including two seat belts. And underneath this seat, you'll find a hidden composting toilet. It has a lagoon swivelable table, which you can easily adjust to, for example, set up the bed. So over here, you have an extra storage compartment, which contains the mattresses, the blanket. And let me instruct you now how to set up the bed. So on this side of the vehicle, you have your Fiamma 2 meter freestanding awning. The compartment over here is your electrical compartment. It has your 100 amp hour Renault G battery, as well as a 1000 watt inverter. You'll find your water level meters there too. All right guys, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please place your comments below, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned because more goodness is coming. See you, bye-bye.